Okay, hello boys and uh, welcome to the quick and dirty on how to program the Yesu FT5DR. So a lot of us uh, don't want to spend the extra money for a programming cable. That's probably an easier way to do it, but I'll show you a really super simple way to do it here as well. All right, so if you're going to have one of these radios, having one of these little micro SD cards is going to be a... Uh, convenience as well so uh, it's going to be a major plus if you uh, if you pick up one of these little micro SD cards right mine's 32 gigs I think you can go down as low as two I'm not sure uh, why you would do that since the difference in price is like 50 to 60 cents between between the lot of them all right uh, that inserts right here on this side in this slot right here all right so let's get started on program the radio. All right, you're not gonna be able to see me do this because I'm not gonna remove the camera from the top of my uh, screen up here, but I am going to insert it into the SD card reader on my computer. Most people have SD card readers on their laptops, or let me rephrase that. Some people have SD card readers on their laptops. Most desktops, you're gonna have to buy an SD card adapter, um, but it's cheaper overall to get the it was it cost me $14 to get this 32 gig card and a reader SD card reader adapter USB adapter to go with it so I would definitely go with that that's me you do you but that's uh that's up to you so give me just a moment while I plug this in All right, we may or may not have cut there, but uh, now that we're back, I'm going to move on to the programming software. All right, so the first thing I want to show you, let me get my screen capture over here. First thing I want to show you is this right here. This is the software you're going to need. I'm going to highlight it right here. Programming software. It's the A. D M S TAC little dash there in the military we call it a TAC 14 right so you're going to download that it's super simple if you've downloaded anything off the internet before you uh, it'll come up over here in the bottom side it'll say uh, file downloading uh, once it's done click on it uh, go to application and run the application it'll download to your computer all right all this here all right so I have it right here this right here is what it's gonna look like on your desktop all right let's roll into this the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come up with a blank set of frequency or a blank uh, list here and it's gonna be very much in the Excel format um, but it's uh, I would say easier to use you have all of your options up here. You can add your skip frequencies. You can add your uh, primary use, whatever frequencies. Most of this stuff I don't use, so I don't really care about. Um, you have your VFO. You can change your VFO um, bands for the uh, different VFOs. You can remove them if you want. That's your home. Uh, your banks. This is uh, your shortwave banks. Uh, these are already programmed into your radio out of the box, right? And you can change them, mess around with them, all of that. Same here. These are your VHF Marine uh, frequencies. Again, this is already in your radio. And weather. Um, all right, so let's go here. So now, when this comes up, it's going to show you all the stuff I already have programmed into the radio. All right? Go right here to communications. Get data from SD card. Right? Now you have to find that SD card. Oh, I don't have it hooked in properly. Give me just a moment. All right, I may have to launch the software again. We'll see. Nope, I don't. All right, we're gonna go right here to FD5. 
we're going to go to backup. We're going to go hit the backup data. And we're going to hit open. All right? That's complete. All right, so these are all the frequencies that I have in the radio, right? Scroll down through here. These are all your FRS channels. Uh, so if you go to Walmart and buy one of the uh, 22 channel radios, uh, these are the frequencies that are gonna be in them. And then the MERS band as well, um, which is just a VMF, VHF version of the Walmart radios. Uh, most of these aren't really sold anymore. But uh, unless your radio is Mars modded, it's not going to talk to these anyway, so it's not going to matter. Um, unless you just want to put them in there for listening purposes, which is why I have them in there, because or I haven't Mars modded the radio. All right, so say you wanted to add a frequency. It's literally as easy as this. Let's just do uh, a simplex frequency, 146.0. Oh, Five two zero. All right, that's just simplex, right? So you come up over here. Um, has your AMS for uh, APRS, uh, DN for digital, or C four FM, and FM is just regular FM. You can switch if you roll this over to the side here. You have all your different tone functions. You have all your different uh, ID functions. You can set this to a specific power. Um, you can set the auto step on it. You can memory mask it. You can set attenuation on the frequency. So if you had a radio talking to another radio real close in the house, um, if you were doing some kind of um, dongle or something like that, uh, S meter, uh, you can set up a bell. You can set them to narrow band clock shift, you can select a specific bank for them, uh, which it has 24 separate banks. Uh, I, I don't know who has this many radios, or this many uh, frequencies in the radio. All right, so let's move on from here. I showed you how to put them in. I've already put this in, right? We're gonna name it, double click, uh, simplex, test All right simplex test tone off we don't need any of that this is just going to be simply in there fm fm operating mode digital versus analog all right now you're going to go right up here to communications and you're going to send data to sd card all right you're going to replace this backup data file data by it's going to give you this warning right here but yes you do want to replace it all right. And this, you'll get this window here that says complete. All right. Now that that's done, you feel free to exit out of this. Save changes. Yes, I do want to save changes. Untitled one, untitled one. We're going to save it right here. Yes, replace. All right. Now that that's done, Safely eject, really matter all that much if you know much about computers, but we are going to do it for the sake of uh, doing it the right way. We're going to safely eject that. It's now safe to move. All right, there's the SD card. Switch back over here to my camera. All right. You can insert it here. Uh, the little gold pieces. The little gold pieces here go towards the screen. Press right in. Don't force it super softly. Now, it does require a certain amount of force because this is a waterproof system, so there's a rubber grommet in there uh, providing friction. So just be aware of that. Once that's all the way in there, go ahead and close it back up tight, and we're gonna turn the radio on. All right, the radio is coming back on.
from there, it's fairly easy. What you're going to do is you're going to hold the F menu button. Button here on the side. Hold the F menu. There's going to be a SD card right here. There's going to be backup one. Click the backup button. It's going to give a read from SD card. Read from SD card. Okay. Okay. Waiting. Now we have the waiting screen. I want to focus. I'm sorry, guys. Just trust me, this is working, and I'll leave a link with a step-by-step -step instruction um, on on the uh, on the video. And it's done. So now, if we scroll around here, we have our DHF flex text. You can barely see it. The LED lights aren't working with my camera correctly. And I'm sorry for the haziness there, but just for people like me that didn't want to buy the um, programming software and I didn't want to buy the programming software from an external company either. And I didn't want to buy the programming cable from Yesu because quite frankly, they're overpriced. I uh, thought I would show y'all how that works. Uh, also, it saves the file in the um, on your computer so that you can go in and edit it without having to pull the SD card out. And then whenever you get ready to, so say you wanted to program six of these radios at once, uh, you could write the file. Then you could uh, take the SD cards one by one, put them in there, uh, write, write the file to the SD cards, and then write that same file then to all six radios once you've got all six SD cards. Uh, completed. All right. Thank you so much. And, uh, hope to, uh, hope, uh, wish all the best of luck in the 73s.